Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for the session is Slide Master View. As we have already studied and discussed about the Slide Master View, we have discussed all these options which are present on this slide. Now we'll be discussing about the last three options that is to use a custom layout, using a custom layout in the other presentations and how do we save it as a theme. So starting with the first option that is to use it as a custom layout. What does that mean? Once you create a custom slide layout, it's easy to add a new slide with this layout in your presentation. It means like suppose we have created this layout. In the slide master view, we have inserted some kind of text, we have given different kind of formatting, we have added some graphics and now all together we have saved that as a layout. If we want to use the same layout again in the presentation, then we can add that. And for doing that, what you can do is you need to click on home tab. Now you have got the option new slide. Whenever we want to insert a new slide in the presentation, we click here and we choose the layout from the list. Now once you click here, you will get two type, of, two type of options here. One is the executive which is written here and this is under flow you have got these kind of options. Now as we have added few graphics here, this is the image that we have added and we have made some changes in the uh, layouts. So now we have got the customized kind of layout here. Suppose you want to add the title slide, you have two options available now. Either you can use this option or you can use this option. If you click here, you will get the same kind of slide now. So this is how once you have created a layout in the presentation, you can use it, uh, you can reuse it. Now there is uh, one also important point here. PowerPoint also allow you to add new placeholders to an existing slide layout. For example, let me open the slide master view here. Yeah. So suppose, uh, let's select this is the title slide, right? Title slide layout, yes. So, uh, we have added a picture here which is now saved with this particular layout. Now suppose you want to add a placeholder here so you can do that as well. Select the, this, the title slide. Now you have an option here insert placeholder. You can click here and you can select any placeholder here like suppose we want to insert a picture here. So this is how we have given a new placeholder with this title slide. If you close this, now what's going to happen is, if you are going to select, uh, select the title layout once again, this is the title slide, you have got the image as well as you have got the placeholder that we have inserted. You have an option available here. So in this way you can you can use the custom layout and you can use the customized layout as the new slides also in your presentation. Fine, so next option is using the custom layout in other presentation. Now when you modify the master or the layouts in the slide master view, you are actually creating a custom version of the current theme. This is the current theme we have we have added, we have modified some of the changes. We have changed the text, we have added some placeholders here, we have added some graphics or some pictures inside it. So it means that we are creating all together a new, a custom version of the current theme. We are not changing the entire theme, but we are making the changes in the theme. So we are creating a kind of, it's a kind of new theme actually. And if you want to apply this particular theme that you have created here to the other presentation, then you need to save the theme first 
and I'll show you that how do you save the theme. You need to click on the slide master tab here. Now you have an option here themes. This is the option. Click on the drop down. It will show you all the available themes here as well as you have got the option save the current theme. You need to click here. It asks you for the name of the theme. Provide the name like for example we will give test theme. So we have saved the theme here. Close the master view. So under the design tab if we check that the customized theme is available or not. These are the built-in themes and this is the custom theme. This one as theme that we have created. Under the custom option you will get the theme that we have created just now. So in this way uh, you can create a new theme or you can say that you can customize the current theme. We do have one more option available. If you want to save the theme then the other option would be that un under the design tab you can click on the drop down here and you do have an option save the current theme. Either you can save it from here from the design tab or from the master view also from the slide master view too you can do it. Click on the view tab then click on slide master. From here also you have the option available to save the theme. Click on the drop down in the theme and then select the option here. So by both the ways you can save these themes. So that was it. We have discussed about the slide master view. We have seen that how that is effective how we can make these small changes and it's going to reflect the changes on the entire presentation. It actually make the work simpler and easier. It help you to work in a faster manner instead of adding the logo on every slide you can insert that on one place only and that change would be reflected in the entire presentation. In the same way if you want to change the text or if you want to insert a particular image on few slides on the selective slides or do the entire presentation it will help you. If you want to add the placeholders then it's actually reducing the repetitive task. It gives you a platform where you can design your own theme in a simplest and in the easiest way. So that was it. I guess um, we all have understood that how the slide master view help us in creating the effective PowerPoint presentations. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.